All right, it's the day before the opener of rifle deer season here in Washington State, October 16th, 2020. I uh, got the whole trailhead to myself. Not surprised by that. A little bit of a windstorm that we're hiking up in. Um, and it's supposed to get pretty gnarly overnight, but I'm gonna try to get back in there before the weather comes in, set up shop. I'm gonna be back there for five days. Um, hopefully not that long. Hopefully I can get it done before then. Saw a really good buck up here a couple weeks ago and a ton of other sign. And that was just like an in and out trip. So have good feelings about this one. Um, hopefully the weather's not too bad up top and hopefully I can come across a nice mature mule deer buck and make it happen with the old rifle. So I'll keep checking in. We'll have a bunch of nice videos by the time this hunt is over. And hopefully next time I'm down to the truck, my pack is a whole lot heavier. It's freaking insane. Basically ran through that stuff because the trees were just exploding everywhere. Super nice out to the east. A little rainbow. But then once you get around the corner and head up towards the mountain, it's just freaking nasty. It's so windy. Sounds like a plane. It's literally just the wind. Sunny. Sideways. Wind sounds like a freight train. This is not good. here in like a 60 mile an hour windstorm just insane feels like a freaking freight train rumbling the ground and everything my tent blew away so I made a wind break with a ball. it's actually working pretty good knock on wood Got the tent restaked. Rocks on all the stakes. Plus that windbreak. So there's nothing getting underneath. Oh man, it's gonna be a long freaking night. We're trying to get up there. Some socks drying, the lantern shaking. Hear the wind outside just ripping. So far, my windbreak has been doing okay. Knock on wood. Don't think I'm going to sleep too much tonight. It's the morning of the opener. Made it through the night. The wind's died down. Barely noticeable now. Most of the snow is melted off down low. I'm headed right over into that little saddle. Glassed up a nice big buck in that clearing right over there. That's originally where I wanted to get to last night, but it wasn't happening with the wind, so dried out my sleeping bag, letting the tent dry a little bit, and I'm gonna pack up. Grab some water down on the creek and then 
get all the way up there. All right, camp's all packed up. Leave the windbreak for next time. Here's the high country. <laughs> Gonna hit that middle ridge right there. Right there. Get up to the point, cross this ridge, and I'm gonna camp right down this saddle. All those deer are right up on this hillside, including a really big buck. So hopefully I can make something happen either today or in the next couple days on them. Well, slow and steady. I'm making my way up almost to the saddle. I threw all those deer were this morning, so I have about 15 of them, three bucks, including one really good one that I would love to see later tonight. Well, that happened pretty freaking quick. Uh, here's my 2020 Washington High Country Mule Deer. Just a nice little three. He's got a huge body. It's like the size of me. Oh, and backdrop is amazing. It was a super long day getting over here. I saw this guy from across the ridge and could tell that there was a little decent three over here and uh, ended up spotting him right around five o'clock with like six does and another small buck. <sighs> ended up closing the distance. I'm still out of breath. I like ran all the way around here. I jumped him out of the trees right up yonder and he came running down and he froze and I kind of got behind a tree in this burn and just got as close as I could and just shot him offhand at like 25 yards, right through the shoulder. He just freaking dumped. Um, I'm stoked. This is like one of my favorite places in Washington. It's a great buck. He's not huge, but I will take him any day of the week here in Washington, especially up above 6,000 feet in the snow. So I got a lot of work. Get him, uh, get him boned out. Fortunately, my tent is literally like 200 yards down the hill. Um, so I'm going to take care of everything I can tonight, spend the night, maybe eat some breakfast, and then uh, probably hit the trail bright and early tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm stoked. It's the morning of October 18th. Dumping rain super windy and I've got to get that buck out of here today so it's probably going to be um, quite the experience but every step is one step closer to the truck and that's what I'm going to focus on all right it's about 11 30 this guy's finally clearing a little bit just squirting rain still really windy hopefully it's not too bad once I get off the ridge um, I'm going that way so I'm guessing I'll probably take four or five hours to get back to the truck I'm just gonna take my time slow and easy the pack that is a full boned out mule deer rack and skull plus all my camp so it's heavy we'll wait when we get back to uh, to the house as always but it's it's probably pushing 100 as always, so wish me luck. If you ever wondered what people are talking about when they talk about type 2 fun, this is it. Got a buck on the back. Walking through a rain slash snowstorm at 6,000 feet in the high country of Washington. The pack probably weighs 100 pounds, but... You know, at the end of the day, there will come a time in my life where I'm too old or probably too wise to put myself through this stuff. And I'll look back at days like this with a smile on my face. No doubt about it. Well, I'm back to Camp One. There's my windbreak still intact. That's where I came up from. Left. 
camp this morning at 11.30. Right now it's about two o'clock. It should take about an hour to an hour and a half to get all the way down to the truck. And it's, it's all downhill from here. So unless there's a bunch of trees down over the trail, which very well could be, um, it should be pretty easy going. But I'm tired for sure. Um, but spirits are high. I'm having a good time. There's a there's really not a whole lot else I'd rather be doing in life, so I'm enjoying every step, even though it hurts. Solo in October, baby. High country. All you know for sure is that the weather's going to be bad. It's an absolute gut check. Well, so that's a few steps to the trailhead. Truck's still sitting there. Looks like it has all the windows and all the wheels. Holy crap. Oh. Looks like we got some company too. All right, we're back to where we started. Got a little bit more company, just like we hoped for. The pack out was significantly heavier. About six and a half, seven miles. Um, it was long, but really wasn't that bad. This time of year, I'm usually in pretty good shape with you know, a couple nasty pack outs with bear season and the high hunt, things like that. Um, so other than some sore feet, I feel pretty good. Um, I wouldn't want to do it again until, you know, maybe next year, but it was fantastic.